Hello everyone, this is Mr. P. In this video, we're going to take a look at writing an email, a step-by-step -step guideline. So let's get started. Emails vary in formality depending on how well you know the reader and what your status is in relation to them. Emails should be polite, but they vary in level of politeness depending on who you are writing to and what you are asking them. This email guide helps you with the structure of emails plus tips and phrases you can use. So let's take a look first at the structure of emails. So number one, we have the subject line. This shows the reader the exact subject of the email. Number two is the date. Number three, the salutation, the greeting. Some people start with hi, others with the first names of the reader, like Mr. or Mrs. Number four is the reason for writing. Number five, the main point, so your main point of writing the email. And number six is your closing line. So now we're going to take a look at general tips. Number one, use a descriptive subject line. Number two, keep your emails short. Number three, write simple, direct English. Number four, make sure your reader knows what to do next. Number five, reduce the amount of email you send. Number six, don't send heavy attachments. Number seven, be careful what you write in your email. Number eight, check your email before you send it. So let's take a look at each point now. So number one, use a descriptive subject line. Say what the email is about in a few words. Instead of writing urgent, write meeting at 10 a.m. about pay rise. Use a subject line each time you reply to an email to avoid subject lines starting regarding. Avoid starting general subject lines such as hello or hi, as some email providers automatically delete these as spam. Number two, keep your emails short. Try to keep to only one point in each email. If you write a descriptive subject line for each email, it's easier for your reader to understand the content of your email. You don't need to quote all the previous messages in the one you send. You can quote only including the previous question, for example, by using the angle brackets, quote here. Number three, write simple, direct English. Use active forms instead of passive forms. Write short sentences rather than long. Don't use idioms. Use common words rather than technical or jargon words. Number four, make sure your reader knows what to do next. Help your reader act on your email. For example, if you want your reader to find some information for you, write, can you find me the sales figures for 2019? Instead of the less direct, I'm going to need the sales figures for 2019. Tip number five, reduce the amount of email you send. Here are some ways you can reduce the number of emails you send to people. Make a phone call rather than writing an email. This is particularly effective if you only want a quick piece of information. Only write an email to the people who need to see it. Don't automatically click reply to all. Don't take part in chain emails when you have to forward something to a lot of people, for example. Don't reply to spam. Tip number six, don't send heavy attachments. If possible, send a zip file or give web addresses where your reader can find information. Tip number seven, be careful what you write in your email. Try to make your emails informative and polite and use a neutral tone. No gossip, no personal comments, no confidential information and no ambiguous English such as sarcastic humor. 
Avoid using emoticons in business emails or too many exclamation marks. Tip number eight, check your email before you send it. Use a spell check to eliminate spelling mistakes. Read your email aloud to check for grammar and punctuation errors. Ask yourself these questions. Is this clear? Does my reader know what to do next? Is this polite? Now we're going to take a look at the language bank for writing emails. So we have four formal and informal email writing. So for greetings in an informal context, you will write, dear madam, dear sir. Informally, hi, hello, hey, etc. When you start your email, you will write in a formal email, I'm writing in reference to, or I'm writing to inquire about. In an informal context, just a quick note to tell you. When you want to thank the recipient in a formal email, you would write, thank you for getting back to me, or thank you for your prompt reply. In an informal email, thanks for your answer about. When adding your closing remarks in a formal email, you would write, thank you for your consideration, or I look forward to hearing from you, or would it be possible if you're making requests? In an informal email, instead, you will write, feel free to, can you, if you're making a request. As a closing sentence, you will write in a formal email, regards, best regards, yours faithfully. In an informal email, Speak to you soon. Thanks. Love. All the best. Cheers. Well, that's it for today. If you have any questions, you can type your question under this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. If you liked the video lesson, please click on the like button and you may share with your friends if you liked it. Until next time, take care. Bye-bye.